NBC's long-running hit reality show The Biggest Loser provided undeniable results for contestants, like massive weight loss and enormous lifestyle changes. But was it all legit and were those changes all positive? As it turns out, no, not really. Here's why The Biggest Loser is totally fake. While contestants appeared to be weighed once a week, that period actually changed based on filming schedules, according to Season 3 runner-up Kai Hibbard, who has frequently spoken out about her negative experience on the show. I'm saying that it would be um, most times longer than a week, and I believe once in my season it was less than a week. But it wasn't always a week, no. This means audiences at home witnessed large fluctuations in how much weight the contestants would appear to lose from week to week. It's actually 20 days later that you see somebody dropping 30 pounds. Season 2 contestant Suzanne Mandonka told the New York Post that a show doctor advised contestants to eat baking soda to fight dehydration. But she alleges that recommendation was designed to covertly make them retain water and thus be eliminated, so that more dramatic contestants could stick around. Did you take it? No, I did not. I just walked away from it. There was no way I was going to ingest baking soda. Mandonka also told Entertainment Tonight that she regained 130 pounds after leaving the show. There's so many unhealthy things they do on the show that are not sustainable in real life. She told The Globe, I was eating baby food. I'd wrap myself in garbage bags to sweat. We would use the sauna for six hours a day. People were passing out in the doctor's office. Other contestants went even further with their allegations, claiming staff encouraged them to take illegal drugs, including Adderall and the FDA-banned weight loss substance Ephedra. 2008 contestant Joelle Gwynn, who was coached by Bob Harper, told the New York Post, He goes away and his assistant comes in. He's got this brown paper bag that's bundled up. He says, take this drug, it'll really help you. I was like, what the f*** is this? I felt jittery and hyper after taking it once. Authorities launched an inquiry into the show in May 2016. The program has denied the accusations, saying in a statement, We prohibit the use of any illegal substances, in addition to the many other rules and procedures of the show that are designed to ensure safety. Past contestants have revealed that the television weigh-in scale isn't actually even a real scale. When they step on the scale, don't even know their real weight and how much they dropped. She added that contestants are weighed two days prior to the episode's weigh-in. An executive producer eventually set rumors about the scale to rest, telling the Today Show that contestants are, indeed, weighed beforehand and the weigh-in on the big snazzy scale is just a prop used for television. Contestants desperate to stay on the show sometimes resorted to extreme and dangerous measures to lose a few last-minute pounds. Season 1 winner Ryan Benson wrote on his blog that he was so desperate to win that he abstained from eating solid food for the last 10 days before the final weigh-in. And for the entire last day, Benson claimed he put absolutely nothing in his body, not even water. He wrote, In the final 24 hours, I probably dropped 10 to 13 pounds in just pure water weight. By the time of the final weigh-in, I was peeing blood. And I sat in a sauna and I ran on a treadmill in a rubber suit and did whatever I could. I, there was, you know, it was very unhealthy what I did. While the show made it clear that contestants were exercising constantly, it didn't show just how much. According to The Guardian, competitors were actually grinding out six to eight hours worth of exercise a day. Not only is this far more workout time than is recommended by doctors, it's also much more than the average person could reasonably commit to. I can't. Don't you, yes, you can! Don't you can't me. A National Institute of Health study confirmed several contestants' claims that the show wreaked havoc on their metabolisms and left them prone to quickly gain back the weight they'd lost, and more after returning to regular life. The show has denied the allegations. 